welcome to damn it. <laughs> welcome to the Honey Bella show where we watch the buildings this get built not... and you talk. Come Here on. the talkings get talked. This time I I said to Luther, <laughs> so no, this is my show again, right? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh so do, welcome back. Um as always, so excited to have you oh, all man, here with me be watching the most this. Low budget you stop with the low budget thing. I'm just saying. There What's is no budget. We have no budget. This is it. Um we uh, actually have one budget. <laughs> wow, one budget. That's amazing. <laughs> um yeah, we actually have our very first patron. Wow! That is the most exciting thing. No, actually though. It has thank you. made my week. Um and we love you and thank you so much. And also, uh, thank you to everyone else who's been writing comments, liking the videos, subscribing. That All of that is also amazing. And we are very grateful. And this is so much fun. Yes. So, so, Era Mies. I'm, I'm going to put the name on the, on the screen so that yes. you can see. Thank you very much. Thank for you so uh, much. Subscribing on Patreon, is that a thing? Um, pledging. Pledging. Okay, uh, to this build. This is a build. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've come very prepared. This is a cute little cottage. Okay, you need to stop and... referring to your own builds as cute. No, I do not have <laughs> to do that. <laughs> you can't make me. And um, I am actually so excited about this, although this is CC free. Wait, you're excited although... Oh, I, I get it. Okay, so you're... You're proud of your accomplishment of not using CC. No, but I usually am very excited about the CC build because I can um, fulfill a very specific style idea I had in mind. I bet this is the one that Harry sees and she'll be like, man, this would have been so much cooler with my CC. And you're <laughs> going to be all like, oh man, I wish I'd used CC. Just lying on the floor crying. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it goes. Um. So this is CC free and you will find the download link first thing in the description and I really enjoyed building this. It's very cutesy. It's very romantic I want to say. As you've probably seen from the intro and the thumbnail, it is very white and pink and purple. Right. Um, and I actually really enjoyed that. Would you could consider this this would be a cottage, right? Is it cottage? Yes. Is this cottage core? Because I never understand what cottage core is. Oh, the, I I don't know if there's much to understand there. Oh, I um, thought there was like a specific kind of building that you would. This is a little cottage core. Not I, I it is it is romantic cottage core is what I'd call it. Okay. Um, I mean there's it's very overgrown in the end, and uh, it kind of lives off this water feature pond. Thing That's the theme with you, right? Overgrown things. I yes, I really enjoy nature. <laughs> well, how about that? No, I just I love plants so much, and I you know I I put them everywhere in real life, and I yes. put them everywhere in The Sims. That just that makes sense to me. Yes. So by the way, if I sound sickly at all, it's because of my very bad hay fever that I have because of all the plants. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> we came full circle. Yeah, we keep having to redo parts of this voiceover because you keep sneezing and sniffling. I am sorry. <laughs> it's my hay fever. If you have hay fever as well, drop a like, hit that subscribe That's button. That's funny. I have hay fever icon. too. Okay, then go ahead and drop a like, hit that subscribe. I can't. I don't know how to do this. I don't <laughs> even know what the bell icon does. Man. You've never hit the bell icon? I actually haven't. There's no channel that I have hit the bell icon on. Because I'm like... They always say that, you know, the whole subscription feed is broken and you actually need sometimes to hit this bell icon to yeah, you don't. have a chop, right? That's, that can't be right. And I've never seen that because I feel like I always get the proper videos recommended, so. And I don't want to not notify, I already hate notifications in general. I don't like seeing. Yeah, but you're being a very bad example right now. No, I, of course, I um, hit the bell icon on the, um, What's this channel called again that we're doing? No worries. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I obviously hit the bell icon on the Honey Melon Challenge. challenge. <laughs> the Honey Melon Challenge. Get naked and throw yourself into a pool. What? what? Isn't that what they did for the last challenge and they set themselves on fire? 
Man, I'm so in, in 2012. I don't even... Is this the hay fever talking? I, I oh, have yeah. no I'm idea totally what you're saying up right, right now. now. I can't even see straight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about this build a little bit. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> for some different content than me <laughs> just burning up random... Yeah, so uh, I've put as many chimneys on this little cottage thing as I could fit. <laughs> well, yeah, I yeah, I, no I noticed that. What's up with that? Um, well, you know, when this was built, which was not last week, but I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> when this was built in, I want to say... Sims time. 1910. Oh, so Sims time is actually parallel to our time? Or is it still 1910 in The Sims right now? No, you... No. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> um, they had to heat their place with actual fires. But did they really have that many ovens in like a single uh, building? Um, yeah. I feel like you can always kind of route them into the same oven. Uh, sorry. Uh, fireplace? No, not fireplace. Furnace. No, also not furnace. The chimney to... <laughs> into the same <laughs> chimney. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, yeah. no, I uh, definitely saw pictures of older cottages that had lots and lots of chimneys. That's I don't know if it was maybe because no, there'd be one family inside. Well, this is kind of big. Because I get it if it's like two halves of the building and then you'll have different chimneys for different parts of the building. But this just can't, seems kind of over excessive. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to hate on it. I think it's really cool that they're warm inside. But uh, also, it just looks so cozy. The smoke having chimneys. Out. I no, oh, I, the oh, smoke yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. In game, I really love that feature. Also, you just want to be freaking Santa Claus the f out when he comes to your house. He's gonna be like, mm. he just drops more presents because there's so many chimneys. I, it's just outsmarting him. Is that how it works? I I don't know. I do you think he brings a new chimney every year and that's why it looks like it? <laughs> that's the present. It's just a new chimney. <laughs> Um, I, I, you know what I actually really, every time we look at a build like this, which is <laughs> every week if you haven't checked out the channel, guys, uh, I'm, I'm actually always really, I, I think it's really cool. This is going to sound absolutely stupid and like it has no point at all, but you I have think, nothing to lose. Okay. Then I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna quit there <laughs> while I'm ahead. No, I think it's really cool that you can place these large trees uh, on the lots. I know this sounds stupid because to most of you this probably is normal because you either play The Sims or watch The Sims. Um, but um, I think like the, the trees also match like the surrounding area. So being able to like integrate the surrounding area into your own lot is kind of really cool. Yeah, I, I also really enjoyed doing that. And those are probably debug trees. So oh. that's why they look so much like the surrounding area. So, are debug trees, does that mean that they are from the surrounding area? Yes. Oh, okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, also, I thought about cutting this whole um, landscaping part out, or at least making it way shorter. I'll already cut a lot out and sped it up even more. Um, but I just love seeing how this comes together. It's, I, it's so satisfying for some reason, seeing these plants appear and it just, I don't know. I love that part. <laughs> I just wanted to say I really love this part. No, I get it. Also, it makes it really colorful. And uh, <laughs> I like how she's just standing there. Um, all these colors. Because I was, like, right now when I just saw this. I, this is, I haven't seen this, by the way. This is uh, one of my first times looking at the bold. There's a lot of flowers in this. Yes. Um, I really My was hay not... fever would be killing me. <laughs> it's already killing me just watching this. Uh, I was not holding back. Yeah, no. I... Not. I, this, this was a why not build. You know, that type of thing doesn't have to be related to The Sims, but that type of thing or that type of day where you're just like, I have this idea, why the hell not? No, I have no idea what you're referring to, but aren't flowers <laughs> really expensive? What, wait, in The Sims in, or in, in real life? life? Um, yes, they are, but also they kind of, I mean, you wouldn't have to buy all these plant seeds they would just keep kind of growing over the years right but in the sims they're not that expensive so that, that those I flowers don't, don't just know. drive never... up the, the price of the house for no reason um 
a lot of landscaping does. It's is landscaping in general is really expensive. Oh, I think okay. a lot of those plans might be debug plans. Wait, hold on. I have a question. This is regarding. But also, sources. sorry, I don't build with budget in mind ever. Right. I I keep budget in mind all the time in real life. I do not want to do <laughs> that in my. No, yeah, future. I got you. I, I feel that. Um, so in the Sims, when you change the level of the ground or or make like small hills or grooves or whatever, does that factor into the price? Mm, no. Do you so you don't like pay for excavation or? <laughs> Do you think there's a little sim building team That'd be awesome. coming up on the lot and just <laughs> Well, I always thought like Sims is like a, a life simulator kind of. So. Um, no, I don't think you do. Okay, that makes sense. Because I this also looks like the kind of landscaping that you would find naturally. You wouldn't yes. find this flat lot and then just place a hill on it. That's what I was thinking. Especially not in 1910. So, yes, I wanted this to look very natural. I mean, obviously this is totally over the top. Um, this, this flower and... Oh yeah, it's all. Yeah, this whole landscaping thing is definitely over the top. But I still wanted it to look kind of natural in its placement and it being kind of overgrown. I have a question. Ooh, look at this little moment. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I have a question. So, on the side of that um, pond, there is a rack with fish hanging from it. Yes, they um, go fishing. In their own pond. And, and and then they put up a token of the fish's death to scare the other fish. The f well, oh, oh my god, that's... no. That's horrifying. No, they're great people. So what is that I just put there? so many fish in there. I think they might have to fish a little in this pond because the fish eat... I think too many fish are bad for a pond. Okay, so you <laughs> I think are I'm trying right to tell this. me that you put, you deliberately put too many fish in the pond so they could die? Is oh, that no, the point you're trying to no, make? No, I mean, you you are really taking this out of context because this is a Sims thing. I'm just trying to say that it's not, I've, I've studied that kind of thing. It's bad if you have too many certain types of fish in your pawn for the other cultures living there. I know I, that that's not the part I'm I'm trying to refute here, but I don't I don't know if picking out three and hanging them up to scare the other fish is going to be the drying. trick. They're drying. Okay, dry. Okay, drying. You know, okay, maybe I should tell you who lives here, because then some, you'll some just monster. fall in love with them. Okay, is it a lesbian couple? No. <laughs> Is it a lesbian couple? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, this time it's not. It is two sisters. And they live here together and they are not only sisters, but a best lesbian friends. couple. <laughs> oh my god! Stop it. Okay. They're also best friends and they work together because they're like the sisterly dream team. Okay? That um, sounds like a, a, a horrible Leave 2005 me my movie. fantasies. Okay. I'm an only child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this that is my figures. this is my therapy session. <laughs> um they are both painters, which is why the interior of this is very painterly. <laughs> wow. Oh my painterly. god, I gotta stop this. Um no, they just have a lot of painting equipment and that sort of thing. And I figure they both take commissions, so they will have people over who want to get drawn. That is what they have that back door for. There's a little studio there that you're gonna see me build. Um, and then they also do like their own artwork that they wanna do and so that maybe one does the one thing and one does the other. Um, and you can like go in and get your picture drawn from two different people? No, I thought okay. maybe one did more like her Portraits own artwork. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Like finished artwork, whatever she like, wants to like do, like conceptual work. Drake album. What's up with you? I don't know. I don't know who Drake is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then one does maybe commissions or maybe they do it together because they're such great sisters. But yeah, that's just my personal story. Obviously, you can do whatever you want to do with this. And yeah, it's all very light and airy and art, art, just art, art, artsy. 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 I see that. I also see, you know, it this building either being 
the absolute nightmare of a dreamer to paint because it's so much going on and you have to catch so many details or being their their biggest dream because it looks very picturesque and has a lot of them um, well details <laughs> yeah I, I i think that is very enjoyable for drawing reference or painting yeah, reference probably. to have lots of detail and i think this building gives off very strong vibes <laughs> What sorry, does that mean? That sorry was the for most phrasing it like that. I've ever said. <laughs> but I, when I look for a painting reference, I want something that really makes me feel something. That's what I like to paint personally. Not that I'm a professional in any way, but <laughs> okay, yeah, that's just what I like to do. And I think this building just has, it just gives you a strong feeling. Um, Have you seen how the light hits it? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, the only thing I can draw is a cube. I'm actually quite okay at drawing a cube. Just a is single cube. Is it a shaded cube? Nope. It's just a, it's a mathematical right cube for mathematical reasons. Yeah, that's what you do. The, draw cubes all day long. Yeah, that's my living. <laughs> uh, actually, we are gonna move on to the kitchen in a second, I think. And I've used the new country kitchen kit objects. For this kind of the reason I wanted to build this cottagey thing also just because I think building without CC this is kind of one of the few things I can do where I can really still convey what I want to convey um, but yeah I definitely enjoyed um, building with a country kitchen Give me all the deets. Do you like? Do you like you, the new pack? What What do you, you see think right now? Politically, of the new packs. Do you I don't. I don't them? think I really want to talk about that because okay. everyone's talking about it, and I don't want to keep bashing EA. That's just. I. This is a happy place. You okay, know? so that's enough of a statement, I guess. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy the color swatches that I put in there. I love this like tone down pink and these really muted colors but it's still colorful i really love color but what ea usually does with swatches is in not in a good way colorful to me at least and i think they really nailed it with this okay so that's that's a compliment to you that EA, is a compliment uh, ea swatch makers out there yeah you think that's a specific person who only makes swatches probably not right that'd no, be weird no that makes no sense yeah because I, I oh also i just I, now that i see me put in uh, these dog treats no this is dog food i thought they also had a dog so wait the dog was one of the sisters or the dog is just hey in... no they also have a dog because imagine having this big plot of land and oh wait no dogs don't hunt fishes that's cats right what the hell are you talking <sighs> about? Also, there, there's no space for the dog to really run. The, the whole point of having a, a big lot for a dog is for the for the dog to be able to run around the lot. Uh, you know, in real life, people can leave their lots. No. Like their own no. property I, and they I could I use all the space that, around. I've never heard of that. That's great to talk. Okay, sorry. Yeah, okay. You are not forgiven. Okay, you wanted to say something before I interrupted no, you viciously? Yeah, yeah, no, I forgot now. So that's where I'm at. So you can suck it. I, 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 okay, see, uh, here, okay. I, you really enjoy cluttering up artsy rooms, right? Is that something that, that is like That sounds like something I would say myself and you then repeat about me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do enjoy that. Because I, I, I every... I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like at least half of the bills you can see on this channel have art rooms in them. That and they're actually... all really cluttered. It's never like, it's never like an immaculate art room with everything in place. It's always like so cluttered up. Okay, wait. I... Art, can, artists are always a mess, you know? Okay, I checked that before I built this because I thought, oh my god, I keep building art studios. I can't do this. It's too much. People are going to be annoyed. And I checked. And there's exactly two builds on this channel that have an art room. No. Art studio. Yes. No. Yes. You just think it's more because I you've seen all my old builds and they all had art studios as well. Right, but, but you no, also kept... you also thought it was more. Yes, because I, I, I build them all the time, but I they're actually not on the channel that much. Oh. That's okay. why I gave myself permission to do this. And then again I thought, you know what? Art studios Sorry about that. Art studios are really nice. 
and I love them and I want to be in them all the time and I still build these kind of for myself you know I wouldn't want to build anything that I wouldn't want to live in that's kind of why I play this game but do you always imagine that they're super messy and they're never keeping track of like their art and they just put it in, in a corner somewhere and hang like a cloth over it I just really like that aesthetic I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry to any talented artists out there you're a mess <laughs> I, I mean I like to keep my art supplies lying around because I think they look pretty and they make me feel good when I see them so I want to see them all the time and I just love that messy artsy aesthetic so that's what I'm gonna so when I leave my tech items lying around you're always like this doesn't look pretty and I don't understand because I feel like my tech products look pretty do you no point well, taken okay go ahead keep going <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah I I just that's why I really enjoyed this and that's why I like building art studios Okay. I just, I, yeah, I want those sims to lead a good life. So, what do you imagine, how, how old are these sisters? Are they like elderly sisters or are they um, young? Definitely not. I, I mean, you know what, why not elderly? But uh, I, in my mind, they're 20 to 30. Okay, that stands to reason. Do you think they only have one dog or is it, is it many? Hmm. You're really adding a new perspective to this Am story. I, I feel like these are very generic questions. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I've never had a dog. I. That's not. not it looks sure. like a face. Sorry. Okay. It does look like a face. It does look like a face. Oh my god! No, I can't unsee it. <laughs> there you um, go. I don't know oh my god, it looks how like hard it is to keep track. No, to to. Keep, Take, take care, care. <laughs> <laughs> both of those things uh, of two dogs but i feel like in this country area people probably have more animals <laughs> yes. that are did, did you just also, running around and like did i catch that right earlier you were putting uh, bees outside oh yeah just a few bees i, I like think, to put some bees i in. think bees and dogs do not go well together that, yeah, again, that's I'm, true. I'm not very cultured. On but I think dogs also know that, so he'd probably just stay be clear. Be scared and, and stay inside. Be scared? Was that a pun? No. Oh. But now you made it into an awful pun, and I don't ever want to talk to you again, so lucky you. No, you're just acting like that wasn't your pun. It wasn't my pun. Okay, Um. so I think dogs usually can take like care of themselves. In, Did you say like, can or can't? Can. Oh, okay. And they probably will in this type of country area. I think people right. usually are not. Oh, so you think it's the kind of dog that also just roams around and is kind of free to do what he wants? I guess. I don't know. As I said, I've never had... Your backstory is lacking, man. We need to know the deets. We need to know their financial status. We need to know their family status. We need to know... So they're definitely very close because you're going to see me build their bedroom and it is just one bedroom and there's... Oh my God, do, just... do you think this house is like a a superhero lair that they have and like there's a whole cave underneath and they have all these cool superhero gear. Why? So they gear what? up Getting, and they're... What? What's the, giving you this idea? They're the... the this sister, uh, I try to come up with a cool superhero sister name, but I totally failed. The Why don't you like my my simple little cute sister story? So, I I do dig the story, and also I just remembered something that I think you should totally talk about. Why this was such an amazing week for you? Tell them, tell the people what happened with the reshade. Go ahead, let me <laughs> bathe in that glory. No. Tell them how I fixed your reshade for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a hacker. That's right. Okay, I keep wondering, why do they they look like salt dispensers hanging from the ceiling? The lights. Do you see it? No, no, they look like mason jars. Okay. And they really do. Okay. That's your opinion. I have much. Wait, is this another art studio? N yeah, that's the one where the 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 people that want to do commissions. Uh, right. The, come it's kind of like a phot photographer studio, but for art. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that figures. Yeah. So that's why they have this this downstairs art studio, which is more of a calm 
paint whatever you want kind of area and this is more of a commercial area yeah right you dude imagine walking into imagine first of all imagine being that kind of person that first of all has the money and secondly the attitude to drive to a painter's house to get yourself painted how awesome I would that, that be i think that is really cool and i th yeah. i think um lately and by that i mean the past decade people have started um being to, liking to be drawn again a lot of painters do commissions and i think it's a really cool thing to one support your local artist local being a metaphor in this case <laughs> um because obviously people do them over the internet a lot and then also have this really cool thing i think that's so fun i think what's also really cool about it is that with uh the internet now being a thing um art has expanded a lot more and a, a lot I, i think many more things are considered art and um even like this what what you're doing what, what we're doing even okay <laughs> calm yourself uh you know could be considered an art form and that's also really cool because a lot more people art is just getting bigger and bigger i feel like even though uh you know sometimes the consensus seems to be that a lot of these old-fashioned art styles get lost but i, I feel like quite the opposite is happening yeah, yeah. I, i i totally I agree. agree it's coming back the the paintings are coming back get your get your picture painted right now do it <laughs> i dare you Yeah, it's also just really nice to to support these artists. I think that's a really cool Dude, thing. Dude, that's basically like back then you would get your picture painted, and now you would you like get your sim rendered properly, <laughs> and you, you'll have like. Is your that sim a thing you've done before in your life, getting rendered. your sim rendered? No, not me, but I bet there are people in the comments who have. <laughs> I, dude, I, no judging. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really, really cool. Yeah, you have your sim rendered. Uh, yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um. Yeah, so this is the bedroom, by the way. Um, wow. As you can see, there is not a lot of space in between those beds because they are not only sisters, but best friends. I keep saying this. Please. You do. Please just let me have this sister <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay, this is getting really therapeutic. I also thought they were probably crafty people, so that's why I put this woodworking table on. I thought if you own a property like this, you yeah, like you're to not gonna do have things yourself. Not be crafty. Yeah, and like build some of your own furniture and that kind so, of thing. So, have fun with the tour. Yeah, I uh, love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.